on the previous episode. Hmm, let's I'm gonna hide this tape when I'm finished. If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of a record. The storm's been hitting us pretty hard now for 48 hours. We still have nothing to go on. One other thing. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. They could be anybody's. We're all very tired. There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. R.J. McCready, helicopter pilot, U.S. Outpost North 31. <gasps> R.J. McCready! What the hell? Totally makes sense now. What do you think it is, Captain? I don't know, and I don't care. Looks like a goddamn UFO to me. This shit gives me the creeps. Yeah, yeah, we're not alone in the universe and all that crap. Check it out and move on. Sir? Ah, oh, Christ, what is that? Chill out. Everybody keep tight till we figure out what's going on. Little medicine ASMR as this loads up. Yeah, good old ASMR. <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay, we continue where we left off in the infirmary. We stopped at that point, and now we're ready to continue. So, uh, yeah. Okay, Bur Burrows, we, you didn't have to open the door. Okay, so, let's go. Let's see what's up ahead. Oh, are these flares? What's this package over there? Ah, more first aid kits. That must be the helicopter the Norwegian just got blown up by Gary in the very beginning of the uh, John Carpenter film. Um, yeah, that's where they had to go after the dog thing, or maybe the dog alien. Uh, yeah, it didn't go so good, and yeah, that's how it actually went. Total disaster. Now, I got to bring my my inventory yep flares now how do I use this flare ah there we go it's gonna get cold in here it's gonna get numb but I better get back okay let's head back outside again and see what's up ahead or oh it's a dead end no so basically follow the blue trail or... ah <gasps> oh my Whitley this is Blake what have you got one body. Identification says Childs. No survivors. It's Childs! And what appears to be a... One body? And, 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 and what? And some kind of unidentified craft. Keith it David. Looks, well, like a, a UFO. Colonel. Colonel. Roger. I'll have a chopper there ASAP. There's a supply crate that was dropped earlier near the base. It contains C4 charges. I want you to rig all the remaining buildings, and I'll remote detonate them from here. Affirmative. I'll contact you when we're finished. So it was Childs. What's happening? Uh-oh. It's something sus. Oh man. So that was Keith David. He kind of maybe passed out? Or maybe he actually died due to cold exposure. I just had a little 
theory. Due to that child is actually a thing. Um, oh, let's just say that he's, he's basically asleep. So, yeah, that's all I can say because I don't know what's basically going on around here. So let's plant the explosives and get the fuck out of here and plant the explosives. See if there's any aliens inside here. No? Ah, okay. I gotta return to the evacuation point. And then we should be good to go. And <laughs> we better be careful not to run anything along the way because this isn't gonna Area be... Looks secure. This isn't gonna be pretty. Area looks secure. Yeah, it looks secure. So get your ass and move on. Okay. Colonel, we've completed the explosives placement. Standing by for evac. Anything from Alpha Team? Negative. Could be the storm. Must be. I've been getting partial transmissions for the last hour or so. I'm going to assemble my team. When the chopper arrives, I'll have it drop me at Alpha's rendezvous. Negative. You have your orders, Captain. Don't put this mission in jeopardy. I understand, Colonel, but I don't have much choice. Pierce's team is in trouble. Besides, if there are any survivors, I'm the only one on the team that speaks Norwegian. Blake out. He speaks Norwegian? Ah. Okay. <coughs> so, so that's mission one. <coughs> I'm sorry. I keep coughing. So that was mission one complete. And here's mission two. Oh, so it follows the map. I wonder where we stopped by next. It's Blake, do you read me? Roger, Colonel. This is Blake. Have you found anyone yet? Nothing yet. I just arrived. The storm is worsening. It may take a while to find anything. Looks like that little stunt of yours might pay off. I don't understand, Colonel. I received a partial transmission from Pierce. He's found something. Might be research. Find him and get back to me ASAP. Affirmative. Did he say if there were any hostiles in the area? Negative. No hostiles. Okay, I'm on it. Blake out. That should be good. So... Ah. There's light poles. Light poles exist to guide people from one location to another when blizzards hamper visibility. Use them to help you discover new areas, but don't be afraid to explore beyond them either. Rescue the Alpha Team. I guess I should go inside. Christ, that's gotta be a few thousand volts. I gotta find the power source. Two thousand volts. What the? Is that a man in here? Or something? Holy crap, I, 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 I just used Norris's line. <laughs> yeah, good old Norris. I still miss him. Due to his heart attack and having his head forcefully pulled away. Fresh flare. Couldn't have been here too long. Ah. Oh. Someone's already been in there, so it means that... A person or a thing could be inside this area. I better watch out for that. That one's locked, so it's a no go. So I'm walking very slowly. There is a power box or power supply. <gasps> oh my god! Is that a. Was that a thing? That's a no-go. I guess I can... <sighs> guess I can turn around and go back. Hope nothing jumps up behind me or in front of me. Because if, if something's jumping behind me, I'm going to scream hysterically due to... Headphone users, if you are wearing them now, yeah, I suggest you turn your volumes down because 
This is gonna be one bumpy heli ride. So, yeah. So there's no way going that direction. Uh, <laughs> so. Wait, hold on. Let's see. Let's head back inside and see what else we can find. Or maybe. Ah, oh, that's weird. The flare's gone. I still can't open that door because it's locked on the other side. So that means there's got to be another way. <sighs> oh, why am I so stupid? And it's opened. Woohoo, hooray. Let's go inside. Holy shit, what happened in here? Identify yourself. Captain, it's Carter. Christ, where's everybody? What happened here? Some. I don't know what they were, but they attacked us. I thought they was part of the, the... 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 Wait a minute. Don't you come any closer. Where the hell did you come from anyways? A chopper brought me in. From the U.S. research station, five clicks south of here. Ah, uh, I'm hurt pretty bad. Don't move, I'll see what I can do. I hope he's not one of those things. Okay, um, <clears throat> there's another way to heal people, so I'm pretty good at that, these tutorials. Also do note, these are one of the very first videos that you are watching right now. And if that's not your thing, you can click off the video anytime because that's how I work. Let's read this. Healing. If you or a squad member is injured and no medic is available, you do have the ability to heal him on your own using medical kits. Squad members will indicate their need for health by showing the I need health icon over their head. When this is visible, you can automatically use a medical kit on the injured squad member by approaching him and pressing the E button. Alternately, you, if you equip a medical kit, you can heal an NPC non-playable character by approaching him and pressing the mouse 2 button or use it on yourself by pressing the mouse 2 button when there are no other squad members close to you. To see how much health a squad member has at any time, activate the squad menu. At the bottom of his particle panel is a red meter. The fullness of it tells you how much health he has. It's also important to know that your squad members are in man down state. When they're knelt down and bleeding, move quickly to heal them when they're in this condition or they'll eventually bleed to death. Ah, uh, so his trust meter is at a red, so he thinks that I'm an enemy. So I, I have to gain I'm his trust. Messed up. Uh, okay, can't go that way. So we gotta find him a a first aid kit, anything. Ah, there's one. Dealing with trust. Carter isn't sure if he trusts you, and he won't cooperate with you until he does. Try giving him a weapon and some ammunition to gain his trust. Go to the squad member menu by pressing the Q button. Highlight Carter and then press the enter button. Now highlight the command icon to the right, give to squad member, and press the enter button. Move the highlight to one of your weapons and press the button marked, give to squad member. You have now given Carter a weapon. Look at his trust meter to see if it is in the green section. If not, let go of the mouse to highlight the icon in the center and press the enter button. This will give Carter ammo for the weapon you have just given him. Pressing the button subsequent times will give Carter more ammo, one, quip, one clip for each button press. Thanks. Area looks secure. So now, it's in the yellow meter state, so he's... He's still not going to help me, so I have to give him a weapon. Maybe you will get us out of this. Yeah, uh, this is the only gun that I have 
for the moment. Aha. CCTV terminals. <coughs> Closed circuit TVs are useful information gathering tools. Use the look controls mouse by default to pan around in the W slash S to zoom in and out. Hint, zooming is important for Blake to be able to find critical information. Let's see. All right. There's an audio recorder, so I can't save at the moment. And of course, I gotta find him some ammunition. Now, where is the... <gasps> Shit! That's a dead body? Oh no! Okay, just take a chill pill. Take a chill pill. You. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, all right. So we, we got, got company. Is that an enemy? It's a thing! Or a Whittler. Oh my, it melted. So what do we do now? Okay. He's an ugly mother. Yep, indeed it is. Now I'm not so sure what to do at the moment, so... I think... Yeah, I better watch out for that blood. That blood plasma, or whatever this shit is. So, there's nothing else at the moment, so... I think we might as well stop here, but I don't want to lose any progress. Yeah, if I don't know what to do, then I'll just probably stop it here for the next part. Um, uh, let me know... Oh, so good now, huh? Yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if I should do more. Then, until then, this is Mike Dobrito signing off. Although, I gotta mention, why am I talking so smooth right now? On the next episode. <laughs> There's two Whittlers. Two Whittlers. <laughs> no, 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 no. Blake, where'd you come from? I received some partial transmissions from Pierce. It sounded like there was a problem. Shit, you got that right. We got ambushed by these things. I don't know where they came from, man. Everybody lost it. The squad split up. Have you talked to Pierce? I got part of a radio message from him. He said he was at the north section of the base. He was talking some... some medical mumbo shit. He said he wanted to talk to the Colonel. The Colonel hasn't contacted you? Man, I haven't heard shit from anyone. Let me try my radio. Blake to Colonel Whitley, do you read? Blake to Colonel Whitley, urgent. He's All not right, let's head north and get Pierce. <coughs> He's not responding. <laughs>